Hello again, everyone, on our devotional series. We're going to pick it up here in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3. And I want to read the first uh, six verses and share some thoughts with you about them. Mark writes these words in Mark chapter 3, verse 1. And again, Jesus entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand. And verse 2 tells us, and they watched Jesus. Now the they in this passage is the Pharisees. These were the people who, who were opposed to Jesus. And they watched Jesus, as the Bible says, to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. The Pharisees were more interested in, in catching Jesus violating the laws of God than they were witnessing what he was actually doing. So they were trying to catch him in the, in the, in the act of doing work on the Sabbath, a day that the, the God's word tells us we're to rest. So it says in verse 3, Jesus said to the man with the withered hand, come here. And he said to them, he said to the, to the Pharisees, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save a life or to kill? But they were silent. They didn't know how to answer that. And verse 5 says, And he looked around at them with anger, grieved at the hardness of heart, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. Now, now Jesus was doing something here, and he was doing it in a way that only he could. He really didn't do any work to bring about this man's healing. All he said was, stretch out your hand. And the man's hand was instantly healed. It was stretched out and it was restored. The Pharisees responded to that by going out, it says in verse 6, and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against Jesus, determining how to destroy him. And there's a great lesson in, in, in this forest church. We've got to always be ready to do good. We've always got to be ready, whether it's the Sabbath, whether it's the Lord's Day, whether it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It doesn't matter. If there's an opportunity for us to do good, to be the hands and feet of Jesus, then we need to take advantage of those opportunities. We need to, to not let naysayers stand in our way of doing what God calls us to do. We need to always be ready to act in accordance with His will and His Word. Let's pray about that together. Father in heaven, thank you uh, for the reminder that, that you have a plan for us, that we are to, to do justice, to seek mercy, and, and to walk humbly with you. Uh, Lord, help us to always do that. Help us to look for opportunities to do good in this world, to, to bear faithful witness to your glory and goodness through the things we say and do. God, we love you and thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.